Today we are looking for the aim of the lesson, simplifying powers. So the simplifying powers, I just want to look for the two rules. The first one, the a to the power x times a to the power y. So here you have to identify the base and the power. The a we call that base and x is the power. Times a is the base, y is the power. When the base equal, when you times it, the power you have to add them together. The next rules we are looking for, when the base equal, when you divide it, we think about what will happen the power. Here the base is a and here is the base is a. Here the dividing, when the dividing means the power you have to take away. Now, we're talking about the two questions now. Let's say the first one. So you have to remember again, when the base equal, when you times it power, you have to add them together. When the base equal, when you divide it, the power you have to take away. So, the first question, x to the power 8 times x to the power 7. So first you should know how we can identify the base and the power. The base x here, the base x here, they times it, the power we got 8 and 7. So what will happen here, we have to add them together. That means 8 plus 7 is come to 15. Now think about the mistake, how the people can make a mistake. Now the people can put it, because of the times, they put 8 times 7 is 56. It can't be made like that. The reason I just want to mention your mistake as well, that you know where you can make a mistake, how we can sort it out. The next one, let's say y to the power 10 divided by y to the power 3. Now you can see the base is equal. When you divide it, power you have to take away, not div divide it. So we take away now, 10 take away 3 is come to 7. So we done the two rules, and then we'll see that a little bit challenging on that one. Let's say this question, 2x to the power 4 times 3x to the power 5. Now we got the numbers and the letters. The number we got 2 times 3. As normal way, 2 times 3 work out first, come to 6. Now we think about the base and the power. Here the base is the x, so we got the same base x. Now what will happen these two power? We just add them together. 4 plus 5 is come to 9. So earlier question we done straightforward only the letters, now with the numbers. So exactly the same thing. Think about this question now. 3 x plus 4 to the power 10 over 15 x plus 4 to the power 7. That's your B grade work. So now we can see how they move to the C to B. The same rules we had to use it. Think about the first one. You got the 3 here and 15 here. You can simplify by 3. How many 3's in 3? 1. How many 3's in 15? 5. So you put 1 over 5 first. Now we think about the base and the power. That's what I said earlier very clearly. Think about this one now. x to the power 10 over x to the power 7. So, you can see that the base is the x. 10 and the 7 is the power. So, the, the line means division. So, when the base equal, when you divide it, power take away. So, 10 take away 7 is come to 3. So, now, the instead of the x, we got your base is now x plus 4. So, your base is x plus 4. When you take away, means 10 take away 7 is come to 3. So, instead of the x, we got x plus 4. You have to make sure other base is same. And then when you divide it, power take away. Very simple is that. So try these questions now. The answers are end of this video. And then please go through all the notes I just have given that. And thanks very much for watching Addison TV.